a very good evening from India. And of course, a beautiful good morning and an energetic noon to all the beautiful and fire souls across the globe. I, Supriya Kumar Velan, international speaker, communication leadership coach, and Toastmaster is here with my topic, personal grooming. And before I take a deep dive in my topic, let me thank IIU, International Internship University, for giving me, for rendering me this golden, beautiful opportunity to express my knowledge, sharing my knowledge with all of you. And thanks to lovely and lively audience who are watching us today. Let me share my screen. When I talk about personal grooming, most of the people think personal grooming means only to look good or most of the people get confused that it is a matter of makeup. But let me tell you folks, this is not only to look good only or just to be a presentable. Today, I am going to take a deep dive in my topic, personal grooming. And I'm sure at the end, you are going to have a lot of key takeaways and the myths so many people are having with this personal grooming, it is going to break. Well, if I talk or if I ask to a layman language or to a, any person, what is grooming? They will say, to look good, to have a beautiful experience, and to be presented. Yes, that's true. But the most important thing of personal grooming is to showcase a positive self-image. That's most important. You know, we meet thousands of people in our life. They look so good, attractive, beautiful. But when they don't have a positive self-image, that is the gap where they are going to miss a very big thing in their life. Professionalism is the demand of today's industry. Wherever you go, whatever profession you choose, if you are not a professional, your all efforts will go in vain. And that's the need of personal grooming. Grooming won't make you only feel good or beautiful or presentable, but it also increases your confidence to speak people. That we are going to see in this journey. So the personal grooming is only not too only important to look good, but in a nutshell, uh, showcase a positive self-image and to promote your professionalism, your way of talking, your etiquette, that gives you a best professional in your workplace. Now, so many people asking, what's the need of this topic? Why we should focus on personal grooming? It's just like you're taking a comb, just take your hair or just tap your face. But that shows where you are. What type of professional you are, what type of a working environment you're working, and it shows your way, your level of sophistication, your intelligence, and your credibility, which you respect towards your workplace, towards yourself. Because grooming doesn't mean making the ambience important or positive. Grooming also means that you make yourself a given important place in your heart and also loving and respecting yourself. So that's the most important definition of personal. Now, personal grooming habits, which so many people today are lacking and they're knowing only for their face. 
It's an absurd myth because grooming means not only to look good, which I will say again and again, it's all about your health and you're sculpting your overall personality from top to bottom. That is your overall cleanliness, your hairs, your nails, your teeth, your uniform, and of course, your makeup, which so many people get confused and they put makeup on the first slot. So these are the some areas where you have to work on and that comprises of your personal grooming. Now, if I start, I have to start from the hair. And it has been said, your hair is a crowning glory that comes from the top. You are blessed if you are having a beautiful hair, but taking care of your essence is the prime uh, importance of every human being. Most of the people avoid this. You know, they think, oh, nobody will not going to have an attention on my hair. But if you're going for your job, your work, or your, any for your interview, you have to take care of your crowning glory. According to your cho uh, choice, according to your comfortability, it's up to you what length you choose for your hair. If you like an open hair, just like what I do, you can go for that. Or if you think, yes, I can maintain my long hair, you can go for that. And this topic, once again, I would like to inform, it is not only for the gender female, it is for the both the genders I am talking about. So please, both the genders, take care of this. One myth which everybody wants to ask, wants to know, washing hair at least once a week, and this is a big, big myth because nowadays we see there are a lot of pollution and once a week, it's not possible. So whenever you feel like washing, whenever you think that, yes, my hairs need a wash, go for it. Maintain the hygienity level, maintain the healthiest level. How much you're healthy, how much you're maintaining a hygienicity, that gives the beautiful, healthy hairs and it will make your crowning glory the top glory. Moving ahead on my journey, if I talk about the hairstyles, most of the people, they do a lot of mistakes. They see actor, actresses and get influenced and they copy their hairstyle. Never ever do that because they are different, you are different. Every human being has a different face, face, you can say the structure. According to the structure of your face, you should adopt a an hairstyle and it goes for males as well as females. When I talk about hairstyle, hairstyle should be attractive and most important, it should be comfortable to you. It's not like that, yes, I did the hairstyle like this, like her but I am not feeling at the end of the day or in my workplace. That creates a lot of hindrance to your personality. So go for the hairstyles, which will also make you best comfortable. Now, if I am talking about males, let me take the gender first, males. Then they have to take care in their workplace or professionalism that it should not fall over the ears, eyebrows, or even touch the back of the collar. They have to be presentable and need appearance. And as I said, a gentleman and handsome gentleman always attract the people, always attract the workplace. And that shows your professionalism, which they have to take care of their mustache, sideburns, or beard. So it's all up to your choice the gentleman says only one rule, take care of yourself, the better you are. Moving towards my females, lovely ladies. If I say about the females, lovely ladies, you can, according to your structure, according to your choice, according to your traits, you can adopt any hairstyle, but it should be 
comfortable to you. A neat hairstyle with a bun, or you can go the short hairs according to your taste, and it should give you a beautiful, presentable, and a comfortable hairstyle. Now we are seeing a lot of hair molding devices. When you go to a workplace, you know, I've seen people, they will have a lot of uh, pins, bobby pins, you can say. And sometimes on their work, in their workplace, it looks absurd or unprofessional. So where you are working, what is your working style? What is your workplace? That matters a lot for your assets, or you can say to be wear and off like pins. So hair holding devices, plays a very important role when you are working in a professional environment. So do take care of all these small things, nitty gritty things, because a small hole can sink the whole big ship. So you have to take care of your crowning glory first. Yes, this is the place where we ladies, females gets confused. When I talk about nails, it shows your health. It shows your hygienicity. Keeping a short nails it never goes out of the fashion. Plus also it gives you a better look, a hygienic look, a beautiful look. So again, according to your taste, you can have a short uh, nails. And if you're keeping long nails according to your profession, it should be trimmed properly, it should be manicured properly from time to time. Now, most of the ladies, what they do, they always nail paint their nails. Our nails, they also does require air, sunlight. So most of the time, try to be without your nail paint and let your nails also breathe. Let also nails also inspire, expire, and also take a proper sunlight and air. And that's very, very important for having a beautiful, good nails. The basic route is you should focus on health while covering your grooming topics. Now next, tea. Wow, this we can't miss because beautiful teeth and beautiful smile adds value to your personality. And most of the people, they avoid this. We always say, no, nobody is not going to watch. But trust me, folks, when you speak, your 32 smile will impact your personality a lot. And it can make your deal either break, shake, or make too. So take care of your teeth, brush twice, uh, twice a day, and rinse after every meal that everybody knows. But how many of you follow this? We make a lot of rules, we read a lot, we do a lot of searching about our health, but end of the day, we don't follow. And that's where we are making a lot of fits to a personality. And that gap should be filled first. So it is important to look beautiful, it is important to look presentable and for that presentable, for that confidence, you should have hygienicity for your teeth to get a beautiful smile always. So don't miss this part. Of course, this, we all know how important it is. When I am talking about your attire, ladies and gentlemen, when people go for their interview and when you knock the door, your interviewer who is watching you within five minutes of your time, he decides your first impression. And that speaks more than your qualities because your interviewer is not having an X-ray eye to judge your qualities which are inside. The first impression everyone gets with your presentability, with your attire, with your dress, with your uniform. So do take care of this thing. That speaks a lot about or your organization, your personality. Now, see, uh, when we are stepping out of our house 
or we are going to a workplace or job or organization. Always take care of your uniform. It should be well washed and iron. The word iron, sometimes we miss it. And that's the pit where we may. We think, okay, it's fine for today. But your today can destroy your tomorrow. So take care of this. Your uniform speaks a lot about your organization. If you have a uniform code, kindly follow that. It should be washed. It should be me. And always remember, for your interview, your attire speaks a lot more than you. So don't miss it. All right, you can go for your business casual attire or business professional attire if I am talking about the gender men may. According to your suitability, you can move on and you can uh, opt for this and be the best version of yourself. If I talk about females, they can go to their business casual attire or professional attire. I choose always a professional attire according to your ambience, according to your platform, according to your needs and organization, dress yourself. And that's very, very important. Even uh, uh, you're a male or a female, that doesn't matter your gender, but what matters is your presentability. How do you look? How do you present yourself? For example, I will ask one question. If any guests come to my house and if I give, a single simple bread, maybe the guest can reject. But in the same bread, I will put the toppings, tomato, capsicum, oregano, and give a form of a yummy pizza. I'm sure the guest is not going to miss my pizza. And that's called presentability. Your presentability is very important. Turn your simple things into a marvelous, and that decides your grooming habits. So don't miss that. Of course, yes, this can be us in any of your interview or which is too casual. Yes, it is going for the A. And I think the audience are also opting for A too. Of course, when I talk about the grooming topic, you are not going to present yourself to your audience or to your workplace. And always take care. Your attire speaks a lot. Don't be a hunky, funky personality and degrade your personality. That's the most important thing. So don't be like this. And of course, inappropriate dress hall, where we are doing a lot of mistakes. Sometimes, unknowingly, we dress ourselves in a very inappropriate manner. And that shows your un your unprofessionalism. This person is not at all professional. I tell you, when you are presenting, calling yourself as professionals, professionals all, always dress themselves in neat, clean, and the attire or a proper uniform. So don't miss these small, small things. Because sometimes, knowingly, unknowingly, we do all, the, all these things. But at the end, we are suffering, our personality suffering, and of course, our work pressure will be held if we get some, you know, negative feedbacks about our personality. So please avoid excessively high heel shoes in your work, caps, very tight clothing, and the thing which makes you uncomfortable. Fashion doesn't mean uncomfortable. Fashion means where you feel comfortable, and you can present yourself in a very lucid manner. That's the real definition of fashion and clothing. Of course, which is appropriate, and I am getting the answers of A and C. Yes, it's correct. And the professional, you can say, which is appropriate? B leather. Yes, thank you so much for giving me this answer. We talk about logo t-shirts. Sometimes, Saturday, Sundays, when we are going to our office, sometimes we have been called on an emergency basis. We wear the logo t-shirts. Kindly avoid wearing logo t-shirts of different organizations. If it is of your organization, most welcome. But 
If you have words about your past organization, never wear those t-shirts in your present organization. And this is the most important tip of any personal human. Yes, which is appropriate, you can say, yes, D. Thank you so much for giving me this answer. Yes, it's D. And I move on to my next and very, very exciting, that is your makeup. If I ask someone, what is a makeup? They will say, paint your face, look good, apply a lipstick, apply a gloss, and whatever it is. But makeup means to look presentable. You apply makeup, but it should not be visible also. That's the real artistic way of makeup. And it should be natural. It should not look artificial. Because when the artificial look gets mixed, uh, disturbed with your natural look, it gives you absurd look. And I am, I hope everybody is agree with my point over here. So keep the minimal makeup natural looking. And of course, if I'm talking about my beautiful ladies, then your nail polish and lip, lip color, that is your lipstick, should not be too trendy or bright. It should go for a normal level according to your taste buds. When I talk about uh, uh, perfume, most of the ladies and sometimes it creates a lot of disturbance, sneezing to the people around yourself. So always go for the mild fragrance and care for the people around yourself because some people around yourself can be allergic to deodorants to very strong deodorants or perfumes. So kindly take care of those people, apply for the mild fragrance and go in an easy manner. And of course, the dark colors when you're working on your uh, professional environment or your work environment, stay away. Go for the light, minimal or rich colors can work. Of course, I didn't mean this by makeup. So never ever fall yourself and make yourself this. And can you can be a place for people to make your fun. So don't go for this, not at all. When I talk about hair color, most of the people going for the hair color, yeah, everybody does that. But in your workplace, where you're working, in your work environment, it should be natural hair color. You know, people are using, I have seen green, sometimes red. So it looks very funky and it doesn't look good also. So you have to take care of your natural color, which looks best on your face. You can go for anything, but keep natural thing in your mind. Accessories, I know, accessories loved by all. But when I'm talking about personal grooming in your workplace, then men should limit accessories or jewelry to three pieces rule. That is watch, ring, handkerchief. Yes, handkerchief comes under your accessories and you have to take care. A dress watch should be worn, avoid athletic styles. Yes, you can't uh, present yourself in an athletic manner and that you have to take care of it. Avoid bracelets, necklaces and visible piercing which most of the people get confused while working on their workplace. They does all these things they do. And at the end, they think, yes, it should not be done. So better any people tells you about your gaps, you realize in an early stage and avoid and be the better version and professional version too. Of course, this one I will say about beautiful woman, when we are going for our job, workplace, or any training session or virtual session, whatever it is, it should be keep minimal and conservative. Your facial piercing, except earrings, cannot work. Yes. I've seen the facial piercing. It looks a little bit uncomfortable and unprofessional too. The five-piece rule 
of women, for women, you can say five accessories will work your earrings, your watch, your two additional accessories of your culture, of your traditional can go. But try to keep it minimal because it gives you a better look rather than a hunky, hunky look. So avoid it. And of course, as I said about your deodorant, your other things, it should be kept according to your culture, according to your taste, and your hats and head covering, respect your tradition. You can go seeing the culture in your hand. That's most important. Taking care of your culture, taking of your work environment is very, very important. And respect every culture and tradition is the most important for any human being. So please take care of this in a very humble manner. Of course, how can we miss this? And most of the people are missing this. When I talk about shoes, males, I have seen the people, they look very handsome from top to bottom. Tie, shirt, iron, belt, and everything. But they miss, if they miss the shoes. And shoes are the first thing which we should, which anybody can watch. If your shoes are torn or not polished, it will hamper your total on personality. So you have to take care, whatever shoes you're wearing, whether it is black, brown, or whatever it is, it should match your trouser or be of darker color. That's the rule says. It should be in good condition and polished. Please don't wear torn shoes. Sometimes we does and we just uh, avoid this. Always, the rule for socks says, match the color of your suit and cover your calves. And socks, if I say it should be washed daily, it should not be stinking when you are in public. Belt rule says, should be in good condition and match the color of your shoes. You know, sometimes uh, what the male thinks that uh, their belt should be matching with the shirt. Even most of the people get confused and they do. But it should always match the color of your shoes. That's most important where you should not miss these rules. And these rules are not only rules, they speak a lot of uh, things about your personality and if your personality can make your work, can make your deal or break your deal. So everything is in your hand. So go for it very carefully. Females, of course, as I said, it should be of good quality. If you are wearing, it should be darker than your trouser. Heels, if you're wearing, most of the females complain about their ankle pain. So if you're wearing heels, it should be one to two inches, not four to five inches. That gives you a lot of trouble in your health, back pain, ankle pain, calf pain. So higher heels should be avoided in your workplace or your workstation. And of course, the first thing and for most thing for all the rules is your comfortability. So take care of your comfortability first. What type of the shoes, sandals you want to opt for? It should be comfortable and uh, it should uh, follow all these criteria. Of course, it says which is inappropriate for your work style. I will say you can go for A, but avoid B, yes. Thank you so much for this answer. I got it. Thank you so much. Yes, the appropriate answer is C. That I know. Thank you so much once again. So A, B, D, avoid it in your workplace. And if I say, which is appropriate for duty assignment to wear athletic shoes, so you can see which is appropriate, you can go and in inappropriate flashy athletic shoes, try to avoid in your workplace. You can wear in your personal life, but try to avoid when you are working in a good organization, professional organization. Yes, let's remember, if I want to say one thing, I can say the sum up, but 
a neat and clean uniform at all times. Remember, you think you are not being watched, but people watch you more than yourself. People understand you more than yourself. So take care of your uniform. Your uniform doesn't mean it should be a very high fi or it should be a branded or it should be costly. A neat and clean speaks a lot about your hygienist. So take care of these your hair neatly tied up or open about your style. No bad breath management. You can say that it is going to hamper your quality. Clean and wash socks with polished shoes, which we have taken. Well manicured hands and usage of a mild deodorant that speak a lot and lot about your personality. If I want to say there is a time and a place for all attire, Clothing that works well for the beach, yard work, dance clubs, trips to the mall, exercises, session and sports contest may not be appropriate for a professional appearance at work. And it's true. People will get mixed up with their personal uh, attire and professional attire sometimes. And that's the place, that's the gap they create for their work environment. Never ever do that because personal grooming as I have said earlier, and I've told you, it doesn't mean only to look good, but it includes your overall hygienicity, your health, and most important, you should be confident, professional. That's the real meaning of your personal grooming. And I hope I have taken out all the important things in your, uh, this session. And uh, people must be taking care of small, small things. That's very, very important. Sometimes we miss the small things. And we think it is not at all important. But when you are going, again, I'm saying your interview, that matters a lot. Very, very important. Your interviewer can reject or accept you on the basis of small etiquettes. And etiquettes, there is a very important role in your personality. So please follow all these small things because small things does matter a lot. Your personality speaks a lot about you. If you are a very good personality person, very pleasing personality, people will come to love to talk to you. Your attitude, your behavior, that also counts in personal grooming. Do you know that? So you have to take care of your total sum of your personality, the way you groom up yourself, the way you present yourself, what are the etiquettes you follow to yourself? That matters a lot in building yourself, you, yourself, and your organization. So I will say the violations of dress code, which we always do sometimes, and if says only one thing, people who violate the dress code they can get fined or they can uh, be fired from their job too in most of the companies. So please take care of your dress code. That's very, very important for your work, for your professionalism, for your personal grooming, and of course, for your promotion or devotion. So everything is in your hands, your confidence, your pleasing personality, your professionalism. Please follow it. And I will say only one thing that sometimes we miss in a hurry, hurry or very fast moving life, but everybody is not perfect. We can't be perfect. We are human beings, but still taking care of yourself, taking care of your confidence, your hygienicity, your health is the first and the foremost important responsibility of a human being. Before professionals, we are human beings and we should not forget this. And I hope I have taken care of all the answers which have been questioned in my live talk. And this session was useful for all the viewers who are watching us today. So do follow. And one golden nugget I would like to give you, please, whenever you are going for an interview or your workplace, never be in a hurry, buddy. Start yourself first before speaking to others. Dress, decide 
one day before because early morning everybody is in hurry hurry so making your image is in your hand showcasing a professionalism is in your hand and the work which you do is in your work can your hand so love your work love you do what you work and please take care of yourself that's the motto of this session thank you so much